Hello guys, this is Paula here to do a flip through of the cooking journal. Now, this is taste of yesterday and today. And it is, it's got a two inch spine on it. And it's nine and a fourth by seven and a half. Uh, let's see, it has 116 pages. Now that does not include the all the pages that came in the book and they are in order. Okay, um, let's see. All right, so this book is spoken for already, so it's, it, it's not gonna be for sale, it's already sold. Okay, so the taste of yesterday and today. I wanted to keep a bunch of the um, the things in it that came original, but there really wasn't anything but recipe pages. So I kept a couple things. The new owner can rearrange it, do however she wants, fill some of the empty pockets. I didn't fill them all because it was overstuffing the book. But I figure she could put what she wants in them and everything would be great. Okay, so we did a, a video on this pocket that we collaged in yellow and blue. And I made the yellow tag. And it says on here, from the cookbook collection of. And she can write her name there. And it has a, a clip here with a bow. So, it starts off with the farmhouse and it says down here it says home on that house so it's kind of fun it's a red green blue and yellow themed papers and i put this rose paper on the inside of the book on the inside cover here you have your cows and pigs can't have a farm without those add a little cow right here this is the beginning of the book. It tells you about everything and the dedication and so forth on it. I did leave that in. And anyway, so, and table contacts and so forth. But I didn't have room to leave a whole lot more. But I did put rings on other ones. So every page has a reinforcer on the page so tearing it would be a whole lot more difficult than normal and i added dimension to this uh, mason jar by just putting some twill or twine on here uh, a burlap type twine i used some of ooh la la crafts fabric here to make a pocket and i took some of the old Oh, what are they called? I forget. The Betty Crocker Recipe Card Library. I have a big box of them, and when I do anything cooking, I will... I'm trying to see if there was a little glue right there, but it's not. Okay, so I added I Love Cooking here with this hamburger um, pie. And here is some red lace on both sides. And then just little things. Uh, today's menu has two choices, take it or leave it. <laughs> you only live once, lick the bowl. Now, this will need to be bent up. It was wet when I made it, but also you can journal some things inside. It is a little book. And on this side, it has a tab that says ingredients. There's tabs through the whole cookbook that have the appetizers, or not, tells the theme of whatever pages are to follow. This is ap appetizers and beverages. But I like that they're old, vintage-looking pictures. And here's the first page in that section. I'm gonna flip that over. And here is a tag that we collaged uh, on a video. And and then I added one of Gail's strips of um, trims and this old vintage trim that I have here. And on the back, we collaged on the back to journal. But I also added a big cooking pot 
looks like spaghetti sauce. Here's some more. This paper is adorable, first of all. You will love this paper to the new owner. Now here we have the, the cook of the house. It says garden to table. So she does her garden, she brings her veggies in and she cooks them. And here's soups and salads. Now here is a red and white check mason jar. I thought would be great for journaling. You can flip it and journal on it. And here's some good times, good food mason jars that have been canned. Here is a <clears throat> green and uh, green and cream check that has double zigzag on both sides. And so you have where the bag would be a pocket on both sides. And then in the center, you have pockets. So I did not feel every one of these. So, you know, I didn't want to put a bunch of junk in there that didn't mean anything. So vegetables and side dishes, some carrots. Okay, and here is um, a, a, a mason jar filled with green beans. And um, this is an old applique I had. And this came from Ooh La La Crafts. It has sorry silk on it here. Yeah, it was just a perfect size for that. And um, here we have a big red envelope to go along. I put red trim on it and it doesn't have anything in it. I left these blank on purpose. Um, because I know I like I liked leaving some of mine blank in my book. And here she is again, just putting in milk or water or something. And here's her garden. I love this paper right here. So pretty. Makes you wanna go out in a field of daisies. Okay, this is your main dishes. And it has this turkey or chicken, chicken, I think, on the front. I don't know my chicken from my rooster. I do, I'm just kidding. Uh, here is some journaling papers. I put a few journaling pa papers in here. The nice thing is that if she needs to add more, she can, um, but I, I couldn't add another thing. It was full. <laughs> and here's some more mason jars that I just think are adorable. And here is the mother hen right here and the baby chicks goes right along with the chicken paper. And here's some of the farm animals, couple cows, rooster. There's the rooster right there and chickens and the dog and mom cooking spaghetti sauce. Okay, here is a cute tag. This fabric on here that says home sweet home with the, the chicken, the pig and the cow came from Ooh La La Crafts. I will link her below in the video. And then I put some journaling paper on the back. And this is all the pl different kinds of plates, which I think makes a country home is to not have a set of plates, but to have a variety of antique plates. If I had my house set up like country still, I would do that. Okay, here's some of the, all the different kinds of stoves. You know, there's just all different kinds. And then here was um, one that was in the kit. Okay, here is just about the poultry and the beef. It tells you how to cut on, cut the beef and so forth. More, more mason jars full of goodies. Wouldn't that be great to have that sitting on your counter right now? Yeah. I can't can anything. The only thing I've ever canned is corn. And my neighbor uh, would come over and show my sister and I how to can corn. And it was the biggest mess when we were done. Everything had sticky corn on it. So I, I sewed the top of these uh, red flower pockets with little blue and green. And on this check... Uh, paper and then I collaged with green on this particular tag as a green label on it also 
Over here is Breads and Rolls. Mm. I think this book turned out really cute. Now, I can't give you my original vintage stuff, but I made some copies. This is um, the uh, Heinz tomato sauce or ketchup. Um, I guess they had a, this is 1986, but they had winners in using the ketchup. This is old, old vintage wallpaper. It's from the 70s. And I just folded this portion down to make a pocket. And here's the back. It's really got a cool texture. And yeah. Now, and down here it says, Kiss the Chef. Right here is uh, the one we were working on the day we did the envelope fo folio. This is the small one that we did. Now, you didn't see this. You saw I had it cut out but we ran out of video time, so I went ahead and decorated it with some stray cooking paper that I had. Whoops, there goes things on my floor. Um, and then I trimmed it in this dotted Swiss. Sadie, get out of there. Of course, Sadie has to know what's going on and try to take it and run. So each of these have a pocket. You have a pocket up here, you have a pocket here, here, and here. And then on the reverse side, which they can go either direction, you have the same pockets. But I just thought it would be cute for, um, for the journal. And it fit in here. This was perfect for it. Okay. I love this paper. And I actually have it in kind of a red and orange. And then here's cookies and candy. So you get to create with those. This is an old uh, Good Housekeeping Institute. It says, New Fashions and Furnishings and Decorations. Good Housekeeping Studio. And this is 1937. See right there? That's why I didn't cut this portion off. Um, yeah, I had this is the front of the book that I had. And I got quite a few different ones, but I just wanted to put a few in here. So this is another of uh, Ooh La La Crafts fabric, and this is the um, seed package that we use to collage in the reds. It says comfort food, and I put one of the mom cooking in the, in the envelope, and here you just take this clip off, and it says, welcome to our little nest. And then I put a label on it. So if you want to take this picture out and put another one in, you can. And I just slid her down into this pocket. I like that everything color coordinated and I didn't have to give it a lot of thought as far as that goes. Here we have strawberries. What would be a farm without strawberries? And then I added a little farm label. Desserts is what we're in now. So this was from an old, um, it's called Baker's Corner. Easy to bake, easy to make, oatmeal toffee cookies. I had this, and, and it has a recipe on the back. You use Hershey's. And so that, I thought that would be good. And here is some more of this old vintage lace on this blue envelope. And you just open it and fill it with whatever you want. And flip it over. This is one of the things I love about the three ring binders. You can hang anything in here. And some journaling pages. Like here's another one of the. This is a McCall's Great American Recipe Card Collection. This is different than the other ones. And right here it says Family Recipe. It says Note to Self on this file uh, card. And I used one of Gail's doilies and cut it out. And then I used one of her trims and, and put it across. I'll link Gail in the description also if you want to go check out her digis. This and that. More mason jars. So this section is just this and that. So I made another one of the pockets out of the red flowers and I zigzagged the cuff on top on green and white check. 
I used the Red Rooster, 25 cents, quality at its best. And then on the back it says Farm Fresh. So this is just a little book of papers also. And yeah, thought they turned out cute and fun. Now, I did not put lace on this because it just didn't call me and say put lace on me. I just didn't think it would look right. So I didn't do that. Uh, here is another pocket with mason jars and the tomatoes they used for canning. This will open up and you can fill it with goodies too. I don't know, I thought in my head when I was making it that all the envelopes would be for maybe some of your mother's uh, recipes that she hand wrote and um, some of her favorite recipes and so forth. That's the reason I made the envelopes but you can do whatever you would like with it. Okay, here's mom and dad and babies just trucking along here next to the rooster and chicken paper. This turned out so cute. Now, this is an old vintage um, tea towel. It was, of course, regular size, and I turned it into a flip, and I used this uh, red plaid with white buttons that came from Ooh La La Crafts as a topper and I zigzagged all this and then it's got the hidden journaling. This says pantry basics. So I guess any of the basics that you would need to keep in your pantry to cook all the goodies. Now here on the back I put recipe cards. Let's see two, four, six, eight, Two, four, six, eight, ten, no, twelve recipes. So there's room for twelve recipes in these pockets. And then, of course, we have the same paper here. I think this book is going to be a joy to put memories in. Uh, and I think my friend or my subby friend is going to really enjoy the memories of the person she's getting this for. And um, I think she'll love it. At least I hope. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's not for sale. It's sewed already. But I do uh, plan on making more cooking journals. Uh, not anytime soon, but uh, I can. I've got some of this paper. I got this paper left, a bunch of paper left, and bunch of other goodies left to make another cooking book. I've got a three ring binder to do a sewing book. I've got a three ring binder to do sewing and cooking and gardening. So we've got a lot of three ring binders in our future. So I did leave the whole package of paper are the recipes that go inside it and they are in order. I did not tab them all. I had tabbed some of them and had them in here and it was just way too thick. So if she decides she wants to take something else out to put these in, that would be great. But she's gonna get all these nice recipes. All right guys, I'll see you in my next video where I'm going to um, collage envelopes that I put together like a book. And we'll see where it goes from there. I have other things up my sleeve. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.